Hi and welcome back. My name is Alma from twinsmommy.com and for today's video I'm going to show you how to make a reel on Instagram. I'm going to use Canva. When you go into Canva all you got to do is search Instagram reel and here you go. You can pick one right here. There's lots to choose from if you want right here. I like this one. Let's pick this one. And with this Instagram reel, you can definitely pick multiple pages to get started. This is just one. So I'm going to shorten this and we're going to pick pages, but let's just play around with the options that we have here. The secret tips to growing your biz. Sure. We can do that. I want my reels to be branded. So I do like a real fat face and my color. This background, let's see if we can change it a little bit. I guess we'll just use the yellow. Okay. So my top secrets to growing your biz, I'm going to change this with this type of font. I like to just make everything title case. I'm going to make everything now that I'm looking at it black and only highlight my top secret tips and then black. I'm going to swap this picture out. There's no need to put a little video play button. This is a reel, so you can do what you want. Okay. And we're going to right here. You can add a page. So we're going to add a page. We can decide how long this is. Usually for the very beginning, I like to make it two or three seconds. You have a minute to make your reel. And so on page two, I get to add whatever I want on this. You can definitely add a template. So this is kind of nice. We can hopefully brand the colors so it fits mostly with what we have here. Change this back to my purple and then let's change the font so that people can read it and just use open sans, bold it. So this is where I can start developing my top secret tips to grow in your business online. So I'm going to move my quotations down and I'm going to stretch this bigger so that we can see what I'm talking about. All right. Know your audience. And then we can animate. I like the pop. That looks nice. And we'll make this three seconds. So we have that. And then we're going to add a new one. We can just copy down here. If you control C control V, you can get the same thing. And we can again, brand this to be pink. We can change the background here to another branded color. And then think of another tip to growing your business online. So knowing your, Oh, and I spelled pain wrong. Look at that. Okay. Pain points. All right. So we did three seconds there, three seconds there. Let's do another one. We can change our color scheme, growing your business. So we have knowing your pain points, then developing a freebie and then creating content around your audience. No, create content. I got something better to serve your audience. Awesome. All right. Looks good. Let's copy change colors. This is what can really grow your business. It has for me. All right. And then go back to peach and that color. Let's do start an email list and put this one, move this one over. So there, oops, there. So they have to have an email list and then they can create the tripwire. All right. So I don't want too many things. I'm going to just stretch some of these out. So let's do four, three, three and a half, three and a half seconds there and make each one three and a half. Let's see. Or four seconds. Let's see. Let's do four, four. And then you can definitely offer something free at the end. I'm not going to this time, but this is what I have. So you can just quickly play it here. All right. Know your audience's pain points. Good. Develop a freebie around those pain points. Cool. Creating content to serve your audience. I should do create insert an email list and then make a low entry offer. Okay. So my grammar here, let's do create 
content to serve your audience. All right, now we can definitely add some things that I've done in the past. So if I go to elements and do stars, I can do graphics here and then I can only pick animated ones. So this one's kind of nice. I can add this here and I can stretch it. And then I can make it just barely visible. So it's sort of there. That's kind of nice to add another layer. Uh, we can do likes, I think. Yep, here are some likes. So that's always fun to have. I don't like to stretch it too much, but I like to make it go to the top and then position lower and then in the back, just so that we can just barely notice that. Okay, and then on this one, hmm, maybe there's a firework, fireworks has a couple of them, small ones, we can stretch it and then position transparency, position back a little bit. All right, and then this one, hearts. Let's see what we have. Sometimes up oh, here is one that's cute, like the likes. And then the last one, maybe dots can get a little crazy. You don't want it too crazy on the back end here. Let's see. This one's not too bad. That's cute. Make a little bit transparent. All right. So let's just go through it. Okay, you can see the effects. Nice. Or an email list. All right. So some of them, I think it was this one. Nope, this one. Wondering if I should make this just a little bit more. Okay, let's, uh, ooh, pretty. I like that ending. And then on the front page here, I didn't have anything that bounced. So it just fades. Let's try just the pop and see if that's better. Maybe not, eh? That's cool, but you sort of see the background. That one's kind of cool. All right, so once you have everything, all you got to do is download as a video. And then what I do is I send it to my messages so then I can put it onto my phone. So after this is downloaded, I'll create the reel and then I'll show you on my Instagram feed what it looks like. All right, there it is right here. It's on my post feed. And then if I go to reels, it's also here on my reels feed. All right, so you can click on it and then it'll show you what it's all about. So that's how I create my reels. Of course, you can use, you know, stand in front of the camera and talk if you want, but this is a lot faster for me to make a reel this way. So that's how you make a reel using Canva.